The world of pediatric cancer, it's a dark world and it needs light. She was dying before our eyes and we had to do something. To have a chance to join the fight and be part of it, I'm honored. It's a large goal and it's gonna be a challenge, but we're gonna meet it because we have to for the kids in Southwest Virginia. We're here at the Charlotte's Play Yellow Celebrity Golf Event. I'm nervous, got a lot of anxiety, but the energy here is electric. I think people are feeling not only the fun of being here, but the why. Having this event here at Valley Hat Golf Club is the way that we can actually start to cultivate and engage with our community through our program, our paddle raise, and then obviously two full days of awesome golf here at Valley Hat. Thank you guys so much for being out here. Thank you so much to the celebrities. And I just want to remind you real quick as you're out there losing golf balls in this fescue, just remember it's all for the kids. I'm Shep Rose. I'm Nancy Howell, AG. This is the Rocket Roger Clemens. I'm proud to support fighting, 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 fighting kids' cancer. Kids' cancer. Kids' cancer. I've grown close with uh, the Woolwines and I've met the Price family as well. So even though you see Charlotte, Tripp, Mikey, you know that Rowan and some are not running around and playing outside. So the mission comes first in everything we do. Um, and it's, you know, in my role, business, ex execution, getting the dollars in, and then the, there's the, always that reality, so. I mean, it just grabs you. If you have children, I don't know how it doesn't. Uh, you don't want anybody to have to go through this. And if they do, you want to give them every fighting chance for the best treatment available to win their personal battle. And to me, that's, uh, if you have the means, what a great opportunity uh, to really impact a young person's life. You'd like to be able to give young men and young women, kids, an opportunity to be able to grow up and have a fighting chance in life. Too many have been taken too early in their life and never really had a chance to develop into the people that we know they're gonna be, wonderful human beings. And for me to have the chance to be able to contribute in some way uh, is important. When your child is diagnosed with cancer, and my husband has said this many times, it's almost like you just, it's, you kind of feel like you've died and gone to hell when you get that information. But the way I've always tried to look at it is, I think everything happens for a reason, and I think life is full of miracles, and Charlotte is a miracle, and I think that we were chosen for this journey so that we could do this. Because somebody needed to do it, and we can, and we're going to. Day two is I'm gonna compress the ball off the tee box pretty good. You know, when metal meets rubber, it's pretty good for me. What you thinking?
I have a bracelet that I wear, a military bracelet that says tough all day on it. And those kids are tough all day. And they, and they will tell you your story. And, um, and it's a story, hopefully, they're gonna be able to tell the rest of their lives. That's what you hope for. When you have an opportunity to give back, regardless of what your kids are going through, you wanna make sure that you're doing it. And this is a great event to really play it forward and do something special for kids that do need that help. My dad got diagnosed with cancer this past year and a close friend of mine, um, Elise, who used to be my academic advisor at Virginia Tech, she got diagnosed with cancer too. So it does hit home and it's cool to be out here um, kind of at this event and raise awareness. Golf is a big community in itself, and I think that's another part is just this community and involvement, just able to, you know, just give back in the right ways, and it's always for the kids, right? So I think it's just cool to just always just keep families close to home, and that's always just a big thing in what we're trying to do. This is a great event to really play it forward and, and do something special for kids that do need that help. I'm, I'm not a Roger Clemens, I'm not a Clyde Drexler, I'm not a Joe Theismann, but I mean, I'm a Virginian who loves being here for their people. And I like having that opportunity and you know, I'm blessed. Imagine, you know, having a child who's 12 years old and is dealing with cancer and you got to get on an airplane and fly somewhere for them to get treatment or drive across the state or drive to a different state versus being able to go get the care that you need in your backyard gives them the best chance to have somewhat of a normal life, you know, away from their medical treatment. So, um, you know, ha having world class facilities, the latest in research. Uh, not only is it saving lives, but it's making that process, I want to say, a lot easier, but there's nothing easier about cancer. It, it, it makes it work better, and it's something that is extremely beneficial for the folks that are, that are able to take advantage of having a, a facility that's within a reasonable amount of where they live and work and go to school. This is a five-year mission for $20 million. So we've got a lot of work ahead of us. So I'm hoping that what happened this weekend is, is going to be just a little bit of fuel. Now we say, let's get to work.